Hey all, welcome back to another video by View3 Golf Fiske Number. Today we'll be talking about a brand new antenna tuner, which is a uh, next version of this 8000M. I have today 8000M Pro, uh, which is the next version of this. This is an excellent antenna tuner that I've used with many radios, including Zygo G90 and uh, IC7300 ICOM. Uh, just for the sake of it, ICOM uh, antenna tuner does only up to 3 SWR. This can, I believe, does up to 9 SWR, um, so about what uh, 450 ohms uh, match, and uh, this can tune bands for which I don't even have a antenna uh, element. Uh, my current uh, dipole set is a 7 megahertz, 14 megahertz, 5, uh, 21 megahertz, and then uh, 28 megahertz. But I've seen this tune to. Uh, 3.5 megahertz, uh, 10 megahertz, which is 30 meters, and uh, 18 megahertz, which is 17 meters, and then 24 megahertz, which is 12 meters. This does a fantastic job, and the uh, updated version does even better. So let's take a look at the box and see what do we have here. I'll just keep it on the side, right? So, okay, we have a manual here. Um, some amount of uh, thing in English, but most of it is Chinese. I've seen other videos, uh, especially those imported into US, they come with a uh, English uh, brochure or uh, user manual, whatever you want to call this. But here, unfortunately, we get it in Mandarin. I mean, of course, I can't read it. But uh, thankfully, on the website antuner.com, they do have the English version PDF that you can download and yeah, that will work. So this is the bad boy. Um, it got the on and off switch on the front and the single function button on the front as well and the display the display is almost the same as uh, the uh, older one and on the back side you have one for out so 239 one for in uh, this is from the radio this goes to the antenna and then you have got the same USB C charge porting charge port and then additionally you have a uh, keyer interface uh, typical 3.5 mm uh, keyer interface if you go to their website in the manual it tells you how the key should be done or it's here right you can see it here let me zoom it in a little bit uh, here it is you can see here on a trs like the bottom one is ground and the next two are keys so not sure what is the idea of giving a uh, code uh, you know practice oscillator in an antenna you know, i for the sake of me i don't understand the logic in that but anyway it's there and it's got better specs than the older one now if you want to look at the size of the displays like I said, it's the same, right? Uh, there's not much of a difference there. Let me just turn on the light. That's much better. Okay. So if you look at it, the display size is not, uh, it's the same display size on the same layout. Maybe the power button is a little smaller on this than the older one. But of course, the, the newer model is a lot, a little bigger in terms of size, probably to add, uh, you know, the extra capacitors and inductors to account for a, almost the double, uh, matching capacity in the newer one than the older one 8000 m pro but this is one solidly built it feels very solid in the hand excellent work here and uh, let's go i've been waiting for this a long time i'll rip this off okay, uh, there you go that's it that's quickly talk about what else is there in the box uh, you saw this uh, then one cable is provided and then a hex key to open this up and then the feet is provided feet stickers which i've already applied so bare minimum in the box the antenna tuner a usb cable a hex key to open it allen key and then the you know feet stickers it's ripped off so here it is let's switch it on and see what do we get 8000 m pro and the version is 1.24.5 so like the older one this got some uh, menu options uh, it's almost the same there's no uh, difference except for the practice cw mode which will turn out different right and then this one ah one more thing in this is you can manually use manual tuning for this in case if you are not okay with the automatic tuned uh, values you can manually tune this so this is the swr power graph uh, this is the uh, sorry that was the swr graph this is the power graph and then this is the morse enter to study so i won't enter we'll look at it uh, in another uh, chapter right so this is the basic introduction of uh, 80 100 m pro let's connect this here you can see how it performs across various bands i'll be back 
what i've done here is i've connected the 8100m pro um to my zygo g90 uh my you know most uh, one of the favorite radios and it doesn't need a external tuner I actually use this tuner with uh, my micro pa 50 amplifier uh, zygo g90 on its own doesn't require any tuner its tuner can uh, tune almost anything even a coat hanger uh, that's fantastic but i'm just using it to see how this uh, tuner performs so what i've done is every band that i test from 80 meters till 10 meters i'm putting the mode to fm mode so that we get a consistent carrier and uh, right now i am at uh, 80 meters 3.5 megahertz and uh, let's see how this tunes right so is this clear uh, i have now set to 3.5 megahertz and uh, let me key up the ptt and see how does it tune see 1.02 and you can see all the relays and the mm, inductance uh, you know lighted up on the bar and if we go here uh, we can see what it does what it shows so when i do it up it goes to 1.05 swr sending out about 2.4 watts right uh, i like this view because i can see what capacitors and inductors have been engaged right uh, so it's showing 1822 picofarad and 1.54 uh, henry uh, ultra henry right so, micro henry sorry um so let's go to uh 40 meter 7 megahertz 7.150 we can actually go to 7100 there and uh, tune once again see ah uh, that's quick right first time it might take i think i must have done it might take some time but uh, second time onwards it's got tons of memory in it so it will do go by the memory tuning and uh, if you look, go look at 8000m with this also carries the same features you can set up different users or different radios so it will retain the memory for each different radio right now let's go to 10 meters i don't think i have tuned it uh, so let us try this now yeah it failed it could not tune because i don't have an antenna right let's go to 14 meter sometimes it tunes sometimes it doesn't so maybe depending on the weather right 20 meters see it tuned 1.29 right excellent and it's not even tuning again right 1.35 36 it's what it's showing excellent now let's try uh, what is it uh, 18 uh, 18 meters 17 megahertz no 18.1 100 megahertz see that tuned 1.45 1.46 probably it had that in memory it didn't even check 15 meters or 21.200 megahertz 1.45 1.42 excellent right 24 yeah 1.53 i don't have an antenna for this 24.9 and it tunes right and then what do we have yeah this is a much better view right uh we have 10 meters now go to 28400 and 1.10 there you go right um so like i explained before i have uh, antenna elements for 40 20 15 and 10 so all these things tuned and it tuned uh, it did not tune 30 but it tuned 80 which i don't have an element for it tuned uh, 18 it tuned 12 right uh so it tuned 17 meters it tuned 12 meters so overall it's a fantastic uh, you know uh, antenna tuner to keep it in your bag it's very light and it can do a fantastic job almost double the range if you look at the specs i'll put out the link to the specs in the video uh, in the description down below it's double the range of 8000m pro 8000m sorry this is 8000m pro uh, a quick okay, uh, view into the morse uh, cw uh, mod i'm just curious what it does unfortunately i don't think it can do paddle it can only do a straight key right so you connect the morse uh, key here at the back and then you just go um so it doesn't read out the morse or it doesn't uh, does anything it just a uh, morse key sounder nothing more than that so fancy item i mean i don't expect to use this for its uh, morse capabilities but more for its uh, excellent antenna you know uh, matching capabilities okay right. uh, thank uh, you for watching this video with me i'll be using this with my 
micro pf50 uh, another fantastic uh, linear amp up to 50 watts and the developer is very very uh, you know uh, kind of helpful in answering queries on the facebook group and also publishing new updating new firmware taking care of the you know issues in the firm uh, in the amp so this will go along great with this i don't have the you know ft891 probably sometime in the future when i get that i'll be using this along with this and i probably will look at uh, selling this off locally uh let me see i mean i am so tempted to keep this uh, short little fellow but i think this will do a fantastic job as well but this is you know the first one is fantastic 8800 m this is a fantastic one to keep it in the bag it's so light uh, like it's elder brother right um so thank you for watching this and have a great day and uh, 73 to 1 and all take care